at a time when health premiums and costs are on the rise, there's some important information people need to know leading up to open enrollment. John Pacanio is president of Ideal Concepts Incorporated, an insurance marketing company that connects people with local health insurers. John, good morning. Thanks, Asiel. Now, first of all, tell us, the second annual open enrollment is this weekend. Uh, what's changed this year from last year at this time? There's a few key things that everybody should be aware of this year. Um, this year, open enrollment is shorter. It's 90 days and starts this Saturday and ends uh -huh. February 15th. Okay. That means there's going to be a lot more people looking for insurance in a smaller window, and it's going to be a lot more hectic. I'd recommend that everybody take a look as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And is this do or die time? If people don't have insurance by uh, next year, will the tax and penalty go up? That's right, Hasiel. And this year, the penalty is going up from 1% to 2%. That means an average family will pay a $1,500 penalty for going without health insurance. Mm -hmm. There's actually a minimum penalty of $325 per person for lower income individuals. Wow. Now, if someone purchased a plan last year because they had the first open enrollment last October, that's correct. Can they continue on that plan this year? They can. That's However, nice. I'd still recommend that they take a look around. Um, a lot of carriers have taken drastic rate increases while others have cut their rates. Mm -hmm. um, that means a quick look around can save you considerably on your health insurance premiums. Okay, what about people with low incomes? How do they get covered? 50% of individuals actually qualify for a government subsidy based on income to help out with their health insurance premium. Mm -hmm. Additionally, lower income individuals may qualify for Medicaid through the state. Um, this year, Pennsylvania has actually expanded its Medicaid program to cover even more low income individuals. Mm -hmm. um, if you were previously declined coverage for, for Medicaid, you should reapply. Now, most of us are on group insurance plans at work, through work. How are we affected? If you have group insurance, technically you have credible coverage and therefore you avoid the tax penalty completely. However, if you're responsible for any of your premium, you may still qualify for a tax subsidy to help out with that health insurance premium. Mm -hmm. And how many people in Pennsylvania about now are still uninsured? There's about 40 million nationwide and out of those, 1.4 million are from Pennsylvania. Okay. So the deadline again is when, when people should pretty much have it? Or so the penalties. open enrollment period is between this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, November 15th and February 15th. Technically, the deadline is January 1st. You can purchase it late. Uh, you may pay a partial pen penalty for purchasing it late. Okay. Now, if viewers have questions about open enrollment or health insurance, where can they go? Healthcare.gov is a great resource. You can also reach us at our website at iwebquotes.com or call us at 866-WWW-IWEB uh, to talk to an agent directly. Are you bringing in reinforcements for Saturday? I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be busy We are. We office. have a full office Saturday. We've been hiring three to four people a week over the past few months, and uh, we're expanding the office here in Allentown on Union Boulevard. So, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. All right. Well, thank you so much, John, for the information. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Hasiel. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.